Hi guys! Welcome back to our seventh video, I think. Oh. I think it's seventh. If you've seen the other girls' videos, um, yeah, they've done an amazing job, but it's my turn now. It's my turn. And I've got a story for you guys that happened not too long ago, but yeah, let's get started. I don't know. Um, so it was like, it's probably around the beginning of June. Yeah, around that time. So I was in a house with like five other people and we were all given keys for our house and then our individual room. So one day, one of my housemates, I don't, I don't want to say his name, so I'll call him Teddy. So that day, he decided to go clubbing and he told us that he was going clubbing. So we were just like, cool. On that day, there were only three people in the house. So he was out enjoying himself. I was, I was at home enjoying myself. Me, I'm, I'm the kind of person that loves to be at home. I had cooked food. I had a movie ready for me to watch. I can't remember what I was watching, but I was watching some movie, eating spaghetti and chicken. Anyone who knows me knows that I love chicken. Like, a meal is not complete without chicken. You don't understand. Anyway, back to the story. I get a message, and it's from Teddy. And he's like, oh, is anyone in? Can you open the door? Teddy's the kind of person that will forget his keys, like, 70% of the time. Whether he's left it in his room, or maybe he left it at a friend's house. He always forget his keys. <laughs> so I walk downstairs, open the door, and then I'm just like, I'm like, where's the keys? And he's like, oh, I was not to tell you. And in my head I'm thinking, oh, please don't let it be bad, please don't let it be bad. And so he starts telling me how his keys were in his jacket pocket, which he left in the club closet. This boy, this boy decides, oh no, because I know the bouncer, I'll just tell him personally, can you put my coat? in the closet without a, without a receipt and then as they were leaving he totally forgot that his jacket was in the closet after then he realized oh i forgot my jacket so he went back to try and get his coat and the people there the people there were like oh sorry we've, we've closed you're gonna have to come back another night when the club is open so he was like oh okay if i was there i would have thought i would be like my jacket is in there i need it it's cold like just open the door and give it to me i don't understand so yeah he left the club without without his jacket and that was what was that that was like a wednesday and so on friday there was another um event so he was like okay during that event i'll go collect my my jacket friday came so this time i, I have to open the door again and he still hasn't got his jacket so teddy told me oh i went there I asked for my jacket, they said it wasn't there. So obviously that means someone's taken his jacket. I'm thinking, why didn't he just give it to the people to put in the closet and not the bouncer? At least with a receipt, you're able to get it back. Now his jacket is lost, his keys are in his jacket. And the annoying thing is, the keys that were in his, in his coat pocket had our address on it. This person has your, has your jacket, also your keys, and now they have our address. So me, I've never been in this position before where someone has lost their keys to your house. Being African, you know, Africans are always thinking up the worst of situations. Oh, a robber's gonna come in. They're gonna kill us in our sleep. Gonna burn the house down. So I'm just like, I've gotta be ready. So I go into the kitchen and I get myself a knife. The house that I was living in was in, was in Hertfordshire. And if you know Hertfordshire, that's the most one of the most boringest places you could ever be. So I was like, no, I'm grabbing a knife. I'm not gonna die in this place. So anyway, he tells the group chat what has happened and they're like, they're like, what? Why didn't you get a receipt in the first place? Why are you so disorganized with your stuff? You need to sort this out ASAP. Me, just looking at all the messages, I was just like, should I reply? But then I was like, nah, I don't wanna be mean. I feel for this guy. He calls the locksmith people and then he tells us that, that they can't come till Monday to change the locks. They were like, oh, two days. No, you, you can't You can't leave the house. You have to stay in here. This is your fault. And he's like trying to defend himself like, oh. I can't stay all the time because I have work. And then I send a message saying, I don't mind staying in the house till Monday. I have no lessons left. And he was like, oh, okay, so Viv can stay in the house because I've got work. So I've got work both days. They were still telling him like, what if Viv suddenly needs to go somewhere? What are you going to do then? 
you can't leave the house. Like, this is your responsibility, you should be in the house. So for, for like these next two days, I was like, literally a security guard for this house like i was fully alert like even if i was tired i would not go to sleep because i did not want anyone to steal any of my stuff i mean i had quite valuable stuff for example my rice cooker my box of indomie noodles like i mean like those things get me through the day so now i'm in my room it's like what 11 o'clock in the night i have my knife with me just sitting by the bed every time every time i hear a noise like, I'll be fully alert, like, my eyes would just open up. I'd rush to my bedroom door, open the door quietly, and then just be, st I'll stand there for, for like 10 minutes, just listening. But then when I realized it was nothing, I'll just put my knife back, carry on with what I was doing. Saturday was calm, nothing happened. Woke up the next morning, nothing was gone. But Sunday, Sunday was the day when I thought burglars were actually in my house. So on Sunday, I get a message from one of my housemates Let's call her, I'll call her Bibi. So Bibi send, sends me a message, she's like, Bibi, is that you downstairs? I'm like, no, I'm in my room. She was like, she was like, oh my gosh, I can hear something downstairs. And then she started messaging the group chat like, is anyone in the house apart from me and Viv? And then everyone was like, no, haven't been in the house since, since Friday. So she was getting scared and she was like, no, seriously, like, is there someone there? Is, is someone playing a joke with us? Huh? Everyone was like, no, being serious, we're at home. And I was like, I haven't been, I haven't been out my room since, since morning. So like, oh yeah, just, just check it out, just going downstairs. She was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, I just said, I was like on the group chat, I'll go check it out. And everyone was like, go on, Viv, go on, you can do it. And while they were saying that, I was, I was getting hyped up. I was like, yeah, 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 I can do this. I was, I was literally going through in my head the fight that I would have the, with the burglar. Like, you guys, I was. I was feeling it. I was really feeling it. I seriously felt like a ninja. I was thinking about like, oh, how how when I see the burglar, he's gonna pull a knife on me, and he's gonna try and stab me. He's gonna miss. I'm gonna grab it, take it off him, and then do some like Muay Thai kick to his face. I'm quite a strong person. Like if I wasn't strong at all, I'd be like, I beg, just take everything. I'll, I'll stay upstairs. I don't care. I'll stay upstairs. Actually, I'll probably go downstairs just to see how just to see his build. If he's like hench. I would be like, just, just, just take everything, just take take what you need and go. But yeah, so I was getting myself ready, and then I opened the door really slowly, and I started creeping down the stairs. And when I got to the bottom, it was dark. I couldn't see anything. So every every time I saw a light switch, I would turn it on, just just in case, like you know, burglar tried to get me from behind. Long story short, there was no one downstairs. Okay, now this was about I don't know, like one two in the morning i'm like getting really tired and then i hear noises i hear like doors opening and closing and i i quickly jump up and i'm like what is that so i open the door slightly and like, i see someone like walking back and forth i kid you not i see someone opening doors closing them footsteps and everything and i was like oh my gosh this is actually happening but at the same time that was happening i was getting messages on the group chat so i was like I was like, no, these these messages can wait. These they can they can wait. That there's a burglar in the house. So I'm just peering peering through my door, and I'm like, what are they doing? Because they they making they actually making quite a bit of noise. And then my phone just keeps going off, and I'm like, oh my gosh, the, the burglar's gonna hear. So I quickly like open up the messages. I'm looking through the group chat, and some and my other housemate, he's just messaging saying someone's someone's left the door open there's stuff been moved about so i'm like wait so if he's telling me if he's telling us that stuff has been moved around he must be the person in the house he stops by the stairs and i'm just looking like there's only one way to find out who this person is so i'm just paused there for a bit like should i say his name should i not because if i say my housemate's name and then it's not him and the person starts running but i was just like no nah, let me just do it anyway so i called his name and then he was like oh yeah Vic, don't worry it's me oh my gosh what the hell is he doing downstairs fam you could have told us he was coming to the house man i was hyped up for nothing so long story short no burglars came to the house monday came changed the locks and everything was all groovy so if you like that story time then you know like comment subscribe to our channel hopefully i'll have much more interesting stories and yeah see you guys